performance under the big top in a small New Hampshire town ended in disaster. A powerful thunderstorm tore through a circus tent, causing it to collapse. A man and a child were killed. At least 22 others were hurt. Forecasters warned of the storm nearly half an hour before it hit last night. Vladimir Dutier of our digital network CBSN is at the Lancaster Fairgrounds in northern New Hampshire. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Walker Brothers Circus was scheduled to give two performances here on Monday in a tent behind me, which you can't see because it is so foggy. Now, shortly after the first performance at 5.30 p.m., severe thunderstorms hit, trapping dozens of people inside. People who were part of the circus just yelled, run. Brandon Isham was one of the roughly 100 spectators under the red and yellow circus tent when it collapsed Monday evening. In the same motion, I just see stakes and stuff coming up out of the ground. Next thing you know, the tent's coming up and over. His four-year-old son, Bentley, was hit in the head with a pole. He took it to upper side of his left eye. All I saw was blood when I looked down. According to the New Hampshire State Fire Marshal, the collapse killed a young girl and an adult male. Isham says he knows the victims and says the girl is the man's granddaughter. As many as 17 others were hospitalized. We had a number that were transported by ambulance, but there was also a number that were driven there in their own personal vehicles. Dozens of emergency crews from surrounding towns rushed to the scene. Lancaster Dispatch, Wakefield, Groveton, Jefferson, respond mutually to Lancaster Fairgrounds, circus tent collapse. Pretty unfortunate, and I know there's storm is coming this way. The National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning about 20 minutes before the storm hit. 60 mile per hour winds, hail, and strong lightning were reported. The show's host, Florida based Walker International Events, has nearly 50 more performances scheduled in the Northeast this summer. The collapse comes a day after one man died and more than a dozen were injured when a severe storm uprooted a tent at a suburban Chicago festival. Officials are scheduled to give a press briefing on the investigation at 10 a.m. Eastern time. It's still not exactly clear what caused the collapse. There were calls to CBS, uh, the calls to Walker International Events has not been returned. Gail. Okay, Vlad, thank you very much.